Welcome back everyone to the Mage Rage for April 2020. Originally I was thinking that the best thing for me to do is to find a nice cave in which to build my nether portal, but it is daytime here, a bit wet and dark. But apparently I died someplace that was far enough away from here that there aren't any mobs in the area. So I'm going to build the nether portal right here. That way if I get killed and respawn, I'll be reasonably close to this place. And should have absolutely no trouble finding it, right? Well, that's the idea at least. There we go. Put one there. Put one there. I'm hoping that the light will help me to find it just in case I once again and meet my end there you go now just before going out let's see what happened there oh I had the there you go I had the crafting table down I guess and the furnace down. yeah I had my stuff down when the bees that is in fact the reason why I did some of the stuff the way I did it was just in case that a nasty thing like that happened so I've got everything here. let me make sure I've got everything Right, everything except the bottom two, and those bottom two are the ones that... Oh. Well. <sighs> Apparently, not all... Oh. Now, the trouble is, I sometimes feel like more gets summoned whenever you do that. But fortunately, that was a loner. Ah, <sighs> good. Now, let me get rid of that. Ah, oh, boy. Now, am I done? I hope so. I'll also put the obsidian in here. No. I was... Uh, are there any chickens around here? Oh, but I would need a bow. That means killing spiders first. So I'll have to see if I come up with a plan for taking care of a ghast. Because that's going to be the big thing. Taking down a ghast. Now, I'll need a fortress. I know, I don't like it when I say, I need a fortress. <laughs> But that is the case. Well, I hear a ghast. What is that up ahead? Oh, that looks like it's a piece of quartz ore just floating around for no reason. Now, what's the best way to tackle a ghast when you have absolutely no ranged weapons. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose I could find out if the lava spell could be used as a ranged weapon, but I have a feeling that lava versus No feather. Uh, I found a red mushroom. <laughs> Not that I need a red mushroom at the moment. Uh -huh. uh, sounds like that gas may be down in this direction somewhere. Of course, there could always be more than one or something. 
unfortunately, gas sounds sometimes feel like they're omnipresent. Uh. And, of course, annoying. And I need to find a fortress. Is that a fortress down there? Hmm. No, I don't think that's a fortress. I think that's just regular nether rack. <sighs> well, oh, there's the fortress right up there. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't think of a good way to reach that at the moment. Uh, let's see. That looks like one of the nastiest... That must be at the very, very end of the... Actually, if I can teleport right to there... Yes! How about that? Now, can I get up there? I've got some dirt here. You would think that netherrack is the last thing that I'll be wanting to get at the moment. If I want to use it as scaffolding, I might have better uses for the cobble later. Hence, say not using that at the moment. Let's see. Let's try this. Alright, that was just in case the gravel decided to give me a hard time. Because gravel loves... To... Oh, I did pick up feathers. Two feathers. Okay. That means... If I get back to the overworld, I can... Oh, that is... So if we get back to the overworld, I'll be able to do it. Alright, so now I've officially... Well, sounds like to me, getting the blaze rod isn't going to be... Well, getting the rod might be difficult, but finding a blaze doesn't sound like it's going to be too difficult. More likely, they're going to find me first. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'll just have to try to ambush them. But once I take care of a blaze... Oh, well, that's where I was. Okay. Hmm. Hello? Uh, definitely not going to try to shoot lava at him, even if it weren't a futile effort. I was hoping I... Did I get one? No, I didn't. Hmm. It's going to be the way I'm going to have to do this. Aha! Aha! This doesn't sound like the most hospitable place for me to be. Well, they don't call it a terrible fortress for nothing. Yeah, this is going to take some time. All right. Oh, cha 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 That's why it's going to take some time. And <sighs> now let's see if I can do this. Well, maybe I won't do it right, but at least halfway decently. Ah. Uh, 
Well, I'm gonna have to take this down to get rid of that fire, unfortunately. No, not lava! No! <sighs> so much for that plan. <laughs> Welcome to Pine Leaf Needles in Confidence in the Nether. Fortunately, I was able to blink up here. Hmm. Now. Oh, please. No. Oh, well. Unfortunately, there seems to also be lava all around here. Just to make the whole thing spicier, shall we say. <sighs> Much spicier. Much, much spicier. I give up. <laughs> Welcome to the Nether Round 2, where I have found a ghast very quickly since I got out of here. Now, the question is. Can I ambush it? Hey, 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 you! I know, this sh theoretically should have absolutely no effect on the ghast. Yeah, <laughs> like that's going to do any good in there. Hey, what will water do against... Wondering if water. I think I experimented with this before and it was absolutely no good. Uh. <sighs> well. This is not going well. <laughs> uh, gas. But I do need to kill a gas. Well, I probably have to kill several of them because getting a gas tier is a non is not an easy thing to do. Killing one gas is hard enough. No. <sighs> and unfortunately, it drifted away. What is the effect of turns it into a cobble generator? Well, I suppose that's expected. It's something that you can't experiment with normally because normally you can't get water in the nether. Well then, with that all going on, since I blew my chance to get a guest there, this, that's going to take half past forever. That's all I got to say. It is going to take a little time. Where am I going to? Now, which way is that fortress? I think I have the right direction, but it looks like there are some of those nasty ancient mages up there and unless one of those nasty ancient mages is willing to drop a guest here for me I have no intention of going anywhere near them somehow I don't think they drop gas tears and unfortunately I think That a, I think that is, oh no, no, that's just a pigman. All right. Huh. Now, where is, 
Well, that's the problem is I was now sent on a completely different course by those. Well then, let's try to get back onto my normally normal course. How about going right down? Yikes! <laughs> well, uh, uh, that was close. <laughs> Interestingly enough, this seems to be my coordinates, which is rather strange since I don't see a fortress here, but it said it was down at 50, and I'm at 77, so I am going to try a little digging here, and maybe that will take me to... the spot where I'm going and considering the types of things I've run into in this area so far I'll have to do this very very carefully well I suppose having something like that happen is completely expected now is that a piece of a fortress I see down there Yes, it is. Aha! Uh, in fact, that is a blaze spawner that I see down there. So let us blink down there. Yeah, I, I was afraid of that. Unfortunately... Oh, there, there's the blaze right there. Okay, okay. Abort! Abort! So long. Good grief. Is that the entire fortress? This one big blaze spawner of death? <sighs> Ooh. Now I have twin portals because I didn't have a chance to light up the first one. And for some reason, it didn't reuse this one. It just said, oh, there's an object in the way, so it created a new portal. Despite the fact that the object that was in its way was the portal. <sighs> Well, that's a stupid algorithm, if I've ever heard one. Hmm. Now, let's see. Uh, let's head out this way, where I should be able to find... Now, I would like to see if I could find a bit more of this fortress than just the... little bit I saw last time. Apparently, I am just above where I was before. Well, let's see if I can do that. Does this eventually lead me down to... Aha! <laughs> I was right next to the spot. Alright, so there is the fortress right down there. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Now, this should have absolutely no effect, but... I wanted to humor myself for a moment. Now, what would happen if I threw... I think I tried throwing water at it before. Even he... Not even count... Hmm. Yeah, well, they drifted. As far as I have this little single moment of time in which I could check this out, and... Yeah, I missed it. All right. So, let me... By heading down here, this will be a little step down. That way I can get to this nice and close fortress that is I'm going to have to go to about 30 or 40 times before I stop getting killed by blazes along the way. If I could find a good, comfortable way down, 
and that's not the Kung Fu way down, then maybe I can find a way to fight those blazes. Because unfortunately, the circumstance where you run into them right now is at the ultimate disadvantage, I think. And I'll have to come up with a way to deal with them. And I'm not sure what that's going to be. Hmm. What happens if you throw water on the blazes? <laughs> it's an experiment that one doesn't get to do too often. This is almost as bad as fighting the ghast. This may be one that's going to turn into a cannot finish situation, considering. I'm going to have to find another fortress, of course. Now, the question is where is the rest of this fortress? I'll see if I can trick them into coming into here. Of course, they're maybe trying to trick me into letting them into here. I'm sure that goes both ways. Hmm. Yeah? They're trying to get to me. I'm trying to... Well... Now, the question is, is this... Which way does the... Fortress continue? Because this cannot be the full fortress. Be it's impossible for it to be the full fortress because I'm expected to find some nether rack. Now... I'm guessing the fortress must continue along in that direction. Because it doesn't look like it continues in any way in the other three directions. Hmm. So let me test out that hypothesis. I'm just going to dig around through here. And if I'm lucky, I will eventually run into more parts of this fortress. Because... So far, it looks like the smallest fortress in the history of Minecraft. And I don't recall seeing anything else that looks like it could be part of one. Well, I know I'm opening this up possibly a little bit too much. Yeah. Hmm. Have to be careful. Yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing that looks like it could be a fortress. <sighs> now, how about here? Hmm. Ooh, hello. Whoops. Get my axe and shield ready. Hello? You still around? There's definitely nothing like a fortress down in that direction. We just have our friends over there. Let's see if I can create a little bit of a barrier. It'll help me to approach. That's the plan. The plan is for me to find an approach that keeps them from doing anything nasty to me. I know. Good luck. I'm getting closer. This is the same when I wound up getting down here and this is still not low enough I think I think I need to get to a good 
level for them. Yoo-hoo! 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 Ah. Oh. All right, there you go. Hello, how would you like to have a fun time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dance. Oopsie daisy. This dance is going to take a while, I see. All right, now let's see if I could do this. I think I need to go down one more. I want to be able to get down to a level that will be comfortable for me. Oh, well, there you are. Ah, uh, You're not making this easy! I know. It's not their job to make it easy for me, right? Yeah, of course not. Hey, did I get a blaze out of that? Well, probably not, seeing how I didn't s Oh! Ah! <sighs> oh, okay, it stopped burning anyway. Now, where was I? Oh, well, uh, that doesn't look pretty. That's just so that I have a... Oh. It... I must have done so much in here that... <laughs> I got lost! Well, what else is new? Ah, alright, there you go. Now, is there a blaze rod anywhere in there, mess? I don't see one. So, this is going to take a while. What happens if I try telekinesis? I didn't think about using telekinesis. If this works against a blaze, then it might work against a gas, too. That is, I could try to pull it to me. After which... I could be able to deal with it in my own territory, right? Well, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. That had... That had zero success in it. I think I had actually maybe slightly more than zero success, but it didn't achieve what I wanted it to. That's all I got to say there. Hmm. I'm going to have to do this the tedious way. The blazes seem to be behind this wall now. And I'm hoping I can use this location to... get at them. Or perhaps to make it... Yeah. This. <sighs> now. I suspect, though, that anything that... Is that if I do manage to kill any, the blaze frost is going to drop right into the lava, and... Can I get rid of that lava? That's annoying. Very, very annoying. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps not one of my better ideas. <laughs> I came down here. And eventually, while opening this area up, I managed to get a blaze rod, but unfortunately, 
I am going to be needing a second one. Unless I'm lucky and find a village somewhere. And that's assuming the village has a church. So I'll see if I can get a second one. But I'm going to have to save that for another episode. How am I going to fit in five this week? I don't know. We'll find that out when I return.